Cubase, everything in Cubase, because it sounds better than everything. I thought it was kind of crazy though. I kind of started on Cubase many years ago. To me, this is kind of an evolution that's pretty amazing to see. I'm somebody who gets paid every single day to create harmonies and to make people sound better, and this is something that um, actually makes my job kind of obsolete, um, <laughs> which is pretty amazing because <laughs> it's doing such a great job and it actually sounds really good. I would think that 9.5 9 is definitely going to be in my toolkit. One of those things that's kind of uh, on, a, on a different level. Uh, it's, it just continues making the workflow easier. I was impressed with it. Uh, I even like the new synth that they're introducing, so um, I'll be exploring all of it. I started using Cubase as uh, far back as the mid-90s. It was on a little floppy disk called Cubasis. And the thing that attracted me to Cubase was how intuitive it was. All of it made sense, and I knew where to go and what to do. Cubase 9 seemed like it was mostly about workflow enhancements, and 9.5, for the most part, what I do, it just seems like just more enhancements that just makes things easier. It's just like a simple thing like the mix level. Um, is a kind of a big deal for me just so I don't have to you know work hard to set up drum parallel compression the biggest feature that I'll probably end up uh, appreciating is just the new click track functionality this seems like the most flexible use of a click track uh, that I can think of and if you are in the need to export to another composer uh, it seems like it makes it incredibly simple and easy. I mean, I just love Cubase. Functionality does exactly what I need it to do. I've done thousands of hours of television episodes, mostly in Cubase at this point. My favorite new feature, 9.5, it's got to be the click track for, for what I do.